Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Astrox, and we are back. But today is a more special video than usual. For I will be doing another unboxing. The only unboxing video I've ever done was on the Razer Phone 2. Now I'll be doing it on a very, very cool looking figure. And that is the SH Figure Arts Sun Goku figure. And boy, oh boy, do I have to tell you, this thing. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty sick. So uh, this is from SH Figure Arts. Uh, these guys are very famous for their action figures. Uh, also from Bandai, as, I, as it says right here on the bottom corner, you know. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is, uh, it's a posable, it's a posable figure. So I know as it says on the side, I uh, probably can't read that, but uh, uh, Son Goku, a Saiyan raised on Earth. And you have here, you have the different poses on the back. You know, pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, yeah, comes with different faces, uh, different fists, you know, uh, and many, many accessories like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get this unboxing going. Mind you, I don't really do these like that, but you know, because you guys wanted me to do it, so I might as well do it. All right, let's open this up. Take this plastic off. I'm not gonna lie, this actually is a pretty cool looking box. It's very nice. It's very nice, you know, it shows the different uh, poses, you know. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright. Let's just open this up now. You know, honestly, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get this, but I actually, I was actually very lucky. And, um, yeah, you like, you know, like, you know, SH Figure Arts, or like, you know, figures made by SH, um, they are pretty pretty expensive like a lot of them are pretty hefty in prices you know they make a uh, Godzilla figures all that well that's SH monster arts figures these are you know SH figure arts and uh, yeah you have a hand accessory you know more hands here oh that's nice just have it fall off the box that's cool just rid of this get rid of the tape that's here you know I want to like remove all this stuff as much as I can. No, yeah, we have our Goku. Nice. Okay. So with figures like these, they're expensive. Apparently, this one costs forty dollars. You know, because you know figures like these, you know, they aren't really cheap. I would say the highest Bandai or SH figure art that I've seen is two hundred dollars at most. But I haven't seen any two hundred dollar um, Dragon Ball Z. So if you guys want to check out SH figure arts and check out the Dragon Ball Z. Uh, stuff that they got they're not too expensive but there are some figures that cost like about around sixty dollars you know such like that um this goku however is 40 so you know the different faces you got i'm gonna lay down the faces right here the different faces you got the different hand poses another face so this comes with three faces three faces right here and four different hand poses so uh yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good in size. I have a Super Saiyan version of Goku, which is pretty dope. So, uh, yeah. Uh, get started with, you know, you're going to have pretty cool different poses with this guy. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Let's just see if we can change the faces here. So, you can take off this front headpiece. Okay. So, yeah. You take that headpiece off. You take the face off. go take the face off if you want you can put any other face you want here right so you put the face here and then you put the top headpiece right up here and boom you got a different face so uh you know let me just get rid of the hands you know try to see if i can like strike a pose with him So yeah, so overall the figure posability is pretty great. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with its own stand, but honestly, I actually don't really care about that, you know, because uh, I actually kind of like it how it is. I'm guessing um, it would have probably would have been better either way if there was a posable stand that came along with it so that it could be more stable, like, you know, just in case if he wants to do the Kamehameha wave and then, you know, get, have him, you know, bend his leg up and, you know, honestly do the Kamehameha wave or maybe even look like he's flying. But either way, yeah, this is a pretty nice looking figure. Um, I'm definitely 
glad to have a figure like this. You know, it's really cool, very nice. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a Vegeta, you know, because actually pretty I actually like this figure. It looks pretty nice. Everything styles and fits the anime exactly how it is. So in overall, do I think this figure is good? Hell yes. It's just so freaking nice, like the sculpting, the facial expressions, everything is pretty nice. The painting is so accurate to the anime, it's just everything is just so freaking nice. And like I said, if you guys want to check out these figures for yourself, then check out SH Figure Arts. Because they just, they just got everything packed and, you know, handed down. They even make DC and I'm pretty sure they make Marvel figures as well. So if you know, but I want to check them out, it's pretty nice. But if you want, guys want to know what joints move on the body, then I will show you right now. So we have ball joint at the head. He can move up and down all the way. He can look up and he can look all the way down. So that's pretty nice how he can look all the way down. He can look up. So, you know, and it can be a swivel here, ball joint at the neck, you know, for nice movement there for like you want to change some poses, ball joint at the shoulder, you know, you can go, you know, it's limited, it can't go up because of this shoulder pad, but if you wanted to turn it upside down, then you can have a nice ball joint going all the way up at the shoulder, but to make it look more organic, I'd rather put it right there, ball joint at the upper arm, ball joint at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist, you know, it can allow for a nice little swivel, up and down the movement, very flexible, ball joint at the other shoulder, ball joint at the stomach and chest area, although it's very, very limited for some reason, you know, it's actually kind of fine with it, uh, you know, it's very limited, only goes side to side that much, alright, ball joint at the hips, you have Oh, see that there is this piece right here, so I gotta make sure not to lose this piece because, you know, it, it would actually suck a lot. So, yeah. <sighs> so yeah, ball joint here, he can move up one leg and he can move all the way back, which is actually <laughs> pretty damn nice. My son Goku is flexible as hell. Ball joint at the kneecap, he can bend it very, very high to a good angle. Ball joint at the ankle, it can allow for some decent good pivots. Ball joint at the toes, well, not really a ball joint. But like a, a certain joint, you know? I forgot what this is called. But yeah, ball joint here, allow for a good pivot at the ankle. And uh, yeah, overall this decent spread. And uh, yeah, overall, this figure is good with posability. And uh, yeah, the facial expressions really matches the anime. Yeah, I just really, really love this figure. And I'm grateful to have this figure. Now, I'm just gonna be showing some other poses. What do you guys think about this Goku figure? I think it's really nice. And uh, I guess I have no other choice but to sing this song. <clears throat> I love you, baby. Alright, I'm just playing with you guys, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.